friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is cut injury of cornea by a sharp object let us observe repair of this corneal tear by 10 o nylon suture I'm infiltrating the corneal stroma with moxifloxacin and now I take visco 2% SPMC and form the anterior chamber yes it is done and now I'm going to repair this wound with 10 o nylon suture instruments required is this needle holder a tooth forceps a macpherson's forceps and a straight suture tying forceps this is the first bite it comes from the groove of the cart to the upper part of the cornea always take a new 10 o nylon suture not an ETO or autoclaved on take a new 10 o nylon suture for such a big corneal tear the needle should be very sharp this is the second bite the depth of this bite is about 60 percent of the cornea this is a uh, oblique cut of the cornea and that is good because of this the anterior chamber didn't collapse and there is no iris prolapse in this case this is the third bite always ask the assistant to put a few drops of ring lactate and in between few drops of moxifloxacin over the surface of the cornea this is the fourth bite I'm going to cover the length with this continuous shoelace suture and on this side I will put two interrupted sutures this is the tongue like projection here and the direction of bite should be like this and now it comes back taking bites in between second bite while coming back always take care of the suture it may get stuck somewhere and if you pull it may get torn and if it gets torn you have to do it all over again if it is this continuous shoeless suture this is the last part on bite while coming back and now the most interesting part we're going to place the knot in the group so the bite comes from the lower part of the cornea and comes out through the group and now we have to pull the thread in such a way that the wound margin is nicely opposed it is neither too tight nor loose there should be optimum a position of the wound margins so just pulling this thread in this way done and now to put the knot 
for this this long thread on the other side is not required so I just trim it off and now take the straight suture time in the left hand and macphersons in the right hand one two two bytes two throws the knot goes in the tissue this is one more through and this is one more through so two one on suture two on on knot Now we have to cut it very carefully, we should not cut the knot and the thread should not be too long so that it comes out, it's done. Now this is an interrupted suture here to cover this area and one more interrupted suture. I'm placing the bytes, two bytes and then I will tie knots one by one and now I take the straight suture tying in my left hand and Macpherson's forceps in my right hand and this is two on one suture again two three is not required three becomes too thick knot and it is difficult to bury the knot into the corneal tissue and unless we bury the knot in the corneal tissue the patient will have irritation and some discharge will accumulate at the knot so always we should place the knot bury the knot in the corneal stroma it is done and now here this is again two then one and then another one again a uh, two on on suture and now we have to bury this knot also sometimes you cannot bury the knot in one direction like it is not getting buried in this direction I'm trying to bury it on the opposite side. Let us see if it gets buried. Yes. So the knots are buried. The wound margins are nicely opposed. Now what we have? We have visco in the anterior chamber. We have to wash it out. So this is a paracentesis wound, about two millimeter in width. Uh, here it goes. This is a Simcoe cannula, 23 gauze. I am spending adequate time and doing it slowly to remove this, to remove this hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. The lens appears untouched, so hopefully this patient will not develop cataract but they may develop rosette cataract rosette posterior subscapsular cataract later on the anticapsule is intact and the lens is clear at this moment this is moxifloxacin over the ocular surface and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will give you some tips to repair corneal owns.